Hey peeps, welcome to today's video. Now I promised you that I would be doing a haul from the knitting stitching show and also my gold hawk road purchases. So the first video after my vlogs felt like it should be that. Uh, it's going to be a long one because there is an awful lot of fabric to show you um, and I will apologise now, we've got the builders in the back garden again and they've got their little um, tractor thingy so if there's noise in the background that's what it is, I do apologise. Anyway, um, when I went up to London um, we went up for three and a half days and I gave myself, um, I, I actually sold a whole bunch of stuff on eBay to get sort of London spending money and I ended up with £300 which was amazing. Um, 100, of, 100 of that was a gift from my mum so the other 200 was from eBay um, and I spent all that in the first two days and then I was talking to the new someone in the evening of the second day and he very very kindly sent me another £100. So I have £400 worth of fabric to share with you. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, let's jump right into it. Now I can't remember where I got some of these from so if I don't I'm going to put a detailed description in the um, bar down bar to show you uh, so there's links to every where I got everything if they're available still. Anyway the first fabric I got was this um, sort of Air Force Blue peach skin and I got three meters of it I think it was like four or five pounds a meter and it's going to be uh, wearable muslins for a couple of the McCall's um, patterns that I've recently picked up and um, they're all very drapey um, and I love the star lines of them but I'm not sure how I'm going to like them on me so I didn't want to get a really expensive silk so I thought I'd start with something like this and see how they worked out so that will be um, coming up very soon. Um, next up I've got fabrics from Fabric Galore and the first one is this Italian double crepe and it's got pansies all over it, it's navy. Um, I absolutely fell in love with this when they put it up on their website a couple of months ago to the point where I've got a screenshot of it in my camera roll because I was like oh like that must remember to buy that. Um, I saw it the first day but I'd spent all my money so the second day I went back with the new someone's money and I got myself the last 1.8 meters on the roll. Um, the lovely Kate from the fold line was serving that day and she said that they did still have some online and so when I got home I ordered another 1.5 meters because I know I want to make some kind of 1940s tea dress with that but I'm really excited to work with that one. So the next one that I got from Fabrics Galore was this amazing navy peach skin which has got like kind of fluorescent style birds, flamingos, butterflies all over it and um, they had this made up on the stand in a jumpsuit and I got five meters of it I think it was eight pounds a meter and I absolutely love it it's so drapey it's going to be lovely as like a, a wide leg jumpsuit like I'm wearing today so yeah I'm really excited to get that one made up um so next up was fabric time and um I bought some stuff from them at the Festival of Quilts and um, I saw this um, beautiful stretch cotton and it's red roses on a navy background, a lot of this is navy based and um, I fell in love with it and uh, when I went to buy some the lovely Gavin who works there was like you were at the Festival of Quilts, you bought fabric from me before and then was like what did you make with it, come and show my mum so that was quite cool. Um, I actually ended up going back again on the second day and buying um, six meters of this and six meters of the red and uh, the red roses on the white background um, because I've had quite a few orders for the red roses on the white background from the shop and I think this this red roses on navy is going to be really popular. Um, I'm thinking this is going to end up being a so la di da um, dress. I'm not sure which one yet, but I'll show you those patterns later because that's exciting. Um, so next up we went to Bombay um, Bombay Fabrics I think they were um, which was an amazing stand are uh, just an absolute kind of um, just overwhelming amount of bolts of fabric for ridiculously cheap prices um, I grabbed some of this kind of what I'm thinking is a cotton it feels like cotton and it's um, two-tone and it's kind of like a burgundy with green over it and then the opposite side is obviously green with burgundy flowers um, I'm gonna make some kind of drapey top out of this absolutely love this one I've got two meters of that and then I also saw and I think a few other people through other vloggers have found this brocade and got it in different colourways. But I just, I, I absolutely fell in love with the, the coppery tones in this with the blue. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. I got five metres. It's not overly wide, 
but I'm thinking some kind of dress coat um, because I have some really expensive brocades in my um, stash that I would like to make dress coats out of and I think it would be a really good idea to kind of practice with this one first um, just to get an idea of like how the fabric handles and what I need to do to it and, and that kind of stuff so I think that would make an awesome dress coat and if there's enough there might be a little skirt or a dress that comes out of it too because I did get five meters so yeah love that um, the the next fabric I've got is this amazing cotton lawn which I picked up from Sew Over It and uh, when I got to the store there was somebody else was buying some of this and it didn't look like there was a lot left on the bolt and I was just like oh my god I need it. Um, I got three meters of it and I am planning on making a Sew Over It Doris dress um, but probably with a slightly fuller skirt because I just um, that's just my taste but yeah I absolutely adore this cannot wait to get this made up. So next up we've got this um, poly crepe and I got it from again one of the stores that I can't remember it was one of the really big ones that just had loads of bolts of fabrics and it was definitely a free-for-all uh, somebody else was buying some of this I saw it and I fell in love and was just like yes I need that I got three meters of it and I think it was something like six pounds a meter um, I'm planning on making a half circle skirt with this um, which I will definitely need to line because it's very see-through um, but uh, if I have enough left over, which I should, I'm thinking maybe a, um, a floaty top to go with the circle skirt or maybe sort of a longer tunic because I do like the kind of like sew over it shift dress kind of look, um, especially over skinny jeans or leggings. So yeah, that's what that's going to be, hopefully. Next up, I'm going to show you my uh, Goldhawk Road purchases. And the very first one is this textured silk crepe that I got from a shop that I cannot remember the name of, but like I say, I will put the link in the description bar down below, um, or at least their name, because I don't think they have a website. Um, but anyway, a customer of mine had come in and shown me a blouse made out of something very, very similar to this. And so when I saw it, I was like, yes, I must immediately have some of that because I know someone that will buy it. And um, then my mum also kind of fell in love with it. So I think we've got four meters here, which might be enough for two tops. One for mum, one for a customer, and maybe a little one for me as well. But it's really, really pretty, and I just love the texture on it. I also picked up this um, really pretty striped cotton shirting, and it's so soft. Um, all of these fabrics have been washed by the Fabric Washing Fairy. Thank you very much, Fabric Washing Fairy. Um, I am planning on making a Deer and Doe Bourrier, and I think that's how you pronounce it, shirt with this. And I really love that pattern and the style lines on that. So I'm really excited to get that one done. And it's on my hashtag 2017Make9 as well. So it'd be good to get that ticked off. But yeah, really like that. Next up from the Goldhawk Road, we went into, again, I can't remember, all the shops blended into one after a while. We were desperately searching for this Devore fabric, which we did not find. Um, but I walked in and I saw this on a bolt and it's really, really sparkly. So I was immediately expecting it to be quite scratchy and I touched it and it's like a teddy bear. It is so soft. It's also molting everywhere. Um, but I am planning on making this into a Seamwork Astoria uh, jumper with, and it's quite, it's quite sheer, so, but it has got some good, good stretch. And I picked up some um, ribbing, so I'm going to do the, um, I've added cuffs to the pattern, so I'm going to do the cuffs, the waistband and the neckband in this black ribbing with the really um, funky, funky teddy bear sparkly knit. So yeah, really excited about that one. This one I didn't actually pick up at the show, but I did order it whilst I was up there and it's Atelier Brunettes and it's the um, sweatshirt material and it is gorgeous. It's the most expensive uh, sweatshirt material I, I've ever bought and I got a metre and a half of it and I just love the little pink metallic dots on it. So this is either going to be a um, toaster sweater and yes, I know I'm very late to that party or it's going to be another Seamwork Astoria um, because I just absolutely love that pattern and I can't wait to uh, work with this and make this up because it is just so soft so it's going to be lovely to wear too. It was lovely to see uh, Girl Charlie at the show and it was really nice to get to meet Mark and I bought a couple of things from them. 
First up was this sweater knit, which is black and cream stripes. And I fell in love with this when they sent me the sample pack, which describing what each um, sort of like jersey fabric is and giving you um, like a decent sized sample so you could have a feel of it. But yeah, I am planning on turning this into a super slouchy oversized jumper. And uh, that's the kind of thing that I live in when it's slightly colder outside. So yeah, I can't wait to get that one made up. I also picked up from Girl Charlie the um, grey heart print jersey that Jen has recommended for my Zadie. So I have everything to make my Zadie now. Uh, now I just need the time. Uh, yeah, I, I, this is so soft. Um, I got two meters of it because this is going to be the main body of the dress, but I have a feeling, in fact I know that's going to be way too much, so I have a feeling there will be some kind of t-shirts made out of this because I did get myself the uh, Soaholic Renfu pattern, which is another one of my hashtag 2017 make nine uh, planned makes. So yes, I think there may be a t-shirt as well as a dress out of this. So the next one that I've got is this um, turquoise sweatshirt material and I got it from Guthrie and Garni. Gar Gar I'm so sorry, I've totally butchered that, I know, um, yeah, you know where I mean and I'm going to put the link down below. Um, I fell in love with this um, colour when I saw it and I got a metre and twenty of this and I'm going to make a seamwork Astoria and if you haven't already been able to guess, I love that pattern. Um, I can't wait to make this up, it is so soft, it's going to be very very snuggly. I showed you this in um, the vlog day two, I think, but oh no, vlog day one, because this we got from the Gold Rock Road. And I already have one of these, but I decided that the bag that I want to make is going to be probably bigger. And I wanted to make sure that I had enough of this um, leather to, 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 to make the size bag that I wanted to and it is kind of like brushed silver and I just it's so stunning the back is a really beautiful soft grey so I think I could play around with that as well but yeah I'm really excited um, to get this made up into a bag I love the bag that I have at the moment but I really would like a change because I've used it continuously for about two years now so yeah it was just nice to have some mix, something to mix and match with but very 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 excited to get making with this. I also picked up this um, flamingo and blue crane uh, canvas type fabric and I'm planning on making a messenger bag with that because I have some uh, really big notebooks that I take to work for planning and, and um, sketching and stuff in so I kind of fancy making myself a small handbag with the silver leather and then having a messenger bag for my um, work related stuff as well. So yeah, that's what plan is for that one. Next up, the next couple of fabrics, or the next three fabrics are actually from Minerva Crafts and I ordered them whilst I was away. And when we got back from London with all the bags and masses of fabric, my dad was like, there's all these parcels for you, what could you possibly bought whilst you've been away? Uh, yeah, the answer is more fabric. Um, this is a embossed leather look jersey and I got this from Minerva Crafts. I don't know if I've said that, I might have done, sorry if I'm repeating myself. Um, I saw somebody, and I can't remember her name, but if I can find the picture again, I'll put a link to her Instagram in the description down below. But she'd made her Minetta out of this fabric and it looked amazing. And I was immediately like, yes, yes, I need that. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with it. It will be kind of a skater-ish type dress, but um, I will show you that when I finally get around to it because, you know, too much fabric, so little time and all that. Um, whilst I was on the Minerva Craft site, I also got this rib, ribbed knit and it's not super, super soft, but it is very, very nice and drapey. And I am going to make myself um, some kind of cardigan with this one. Um, I only have one oversized cardigan and I like the idea of having a big ch uh, chunky kind of something that's really easy to throw over lots of different stuff so yeah that's going to get turned into a cardigan. Now I cannot remember the name of where I got this from but again the link will be in the description if I find it, the receipt. It's um, some em embroidered trim and I got a meter and a half of it and I'm planning on making a belt. It might even end up being cuffs and like a neck band on a dress or something, but I just fell in love with it. I love the colors, um, I love embroidery anyway, and my inner magpie was very happy with the sparkly sparkly gold. So yeah, I thought that was beautiful. I also picked up this little gadget, which um, is a pom-pom maker and it's called a multi-pom 
and the lovely uh, lady who was selling it was demonstrating it at the time and you can make up to 21 inch pom poms on it in one go and if you remember from my January makes video yes because I haven't done February's yet I'm doing that later um, I knitted another scarf and it was very bright and I decided that I wanted pom poms on the end of it so I was looking for one of those pom pom makers where you just you know make individual ones in with the twizzly bits because um, that's the technical term and then I came across this and it was just like oh I can make 20 at once and they will all be identical and that just sounds like a genius idea so yes pom pom maker very very happy with that um, I'll probably film myself trying to use it for the first time and failing miserably but yeah you can laugh at me while I do that the final thing that I bought from the Knitting and Stitching show was from M. Rosenberg and Son. It just says that it's £12 per metre, web design, 60 inches wide. And I saw it at the beginning of day two and I kept thinking about it all day. I'd already spent all my money by then, so um, I got the final 2.2 metres on the bulk for 24 quid and Mum bought that for me, which I will pay you back for, Mum. Thank you very much. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it's going to make a really, really interesting coat. Um, with given the amount that I've got it's going to probably be, end up being sort of like a fitted top with a shorter peplum on it as I like full skirted coats but yeah very excited to get that one made up. The final fabric I have to show you today is this um, double sided flannel and it's from Minerva Crafts and they put it up on their Instagram and again I took a screenshot of it and was thinking about it and when I made my order I bought some of this as well. I've got three meters of it but I'm thinking I might get a little bit more because I really really fancy trying to make a reversible sew over it Lola coat out of this. I'm um, thinking flat felled seams or Hong Kong finishes on the seams um, so that it will be completely reversible um, but yeah I it's so so soft and actually got quite a nice drape to it as well so I think that would work and I think a reversible coat in this would be awesome so yeah that's the final fabric I do however have more stuff to show you the I, I did buy a whole bunch of yarn from the show but you've seen that already it was the green alpaca cone and then the kind of mocha coloured um, double knit with the silvery tone to it um, I'm not showing you those because I just don't have them up with me they're in the uh, wool pile down in the main house the last thing that I want to show you are the patterns I know I mentioned it earlier but it's the Soaholic Renfrew um, I saw that and I think view C will definitely be one of the first ones that I make I love the drapey neck on that one um, I also came across uh, so la -dee -da patterns now I've seen those on Fabric Godmother's um, site and was very very tempted by them and the lovely Caroline was at the show and we got talking and I think I, I explained this in my vlog but we got talking and I ended up buying the entire line of patterns which I'm going to stock in my shop uh, they will be going up on on the online shop as well if any of you are interested um, but you can buy directly from so la -dee da and she has loads of stockists as well online the but. patterns are amazing and I picked up the sweetheart dress the Margot jumpsuit the Margot princess seamed bodice, um, which was an add-on to the jumpsuit. The 1950s rose dress, which I think is definitely one of my favourites. I love the pleat details on the skirt. I've got the Audrey, which is a strapless or halter neck dress. And we've got the Miss Maguire, which is a three-piece or can be a three-piece. There's a skirt, a uh, little top and a little um, kind of... Um, over shirt that goes over over that as well. Got the Betty Jean, which is again another play suit, but definitely could be hacked into trousers or shorts. The French Gypsy, which is a stunning pattern, and I loved the samples that she's sewn up with that. And the last one is the Dorothy dress, um, which is a little outside my comfort zone because it is fitted over the hips, but I love the star lines of that, so I'm really excited to give that one a go. I'm currently sat here surrounded by a mountain of fabric that has all been pre-washed. Thank you, Fabric Washing Fairy. Um, not sure if I said that or it might have done. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to start making all of this up into, uh, into stuff because 
all the pretties. Um, it was, I had an amazing time up at the show. It was lovely meeting um, all the other vloggers. It was lovely meeting you guys, the ones that came and said hi. It was, um, it was, if I was a bit shell shocked, I'm really sorry, but it was really lovely to meet you. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed having a look, uh, a closer look at all the stuff that I've bought. If you have, please, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've not yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye!